Hi guys, it's Solange again. So today I'm going to be doing this really nice, it's a smoky eye look and I'm going to use colors specifically for hazel eyes or you know greenish brownish eyes you know. So I hope you guys are ready to come watch me and learn and so if you're interested just keep on following this video. Thank you! Hi guys, so today I'm going to start by using my Sephora foundation and using my Real Techniques brush. I'm going to just be putting that all over my face. So for this, I'm going to use this technique where I'm going to focus more of the foundation on the center of my face and then blend everything out so the further away from the center, it's a bit lighter. Okay, so for concealer, I'm not going to be doing the highlighting like I usually do. So I'm just going to be putting these four dots right underneath my eyes because I really just want to conceal. And using the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend that all in. And later, I'm going to use an actual highlighter. So this is why we're just doing this little technique. So moving on to the powder, I'm using my NYX Translucent Photo Finish Powder and setting the concealer underneath my eyes with my powder brush. And then with the rest of the powder that I have left, I'm going to put it all over my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And so we get to the brows. I'm going to brush out all the hairs first really quick. And then I'm going to move on to using this KISS eyebrow um, palette. It's really nice. I like the colors. Uh, for the most part, they, mark, they match my dark eyebrows. So I'm just quickly going to follow my natural brow, but also adding a little bit of, a, little bit of an edge to it. Finally, it's eyeshadow time. I'm using my Victoria's Secret Pro eyeshadow primer. It's a liquid um, primer, so it's pretty easy to manage. So I'm just going to dab that on the lids of my eyes. And then with my finger, I'm just going to blend it out really quick. So now I'm going to move on to my Stila Artful Eye Colors Edition, Collector Edition, using the Starlight color. It's a nice peachy pink color, so I'm going to put that on the center of my eyelid and also just swipe it across the lower half of my eyelid. So now I'm taking this really fluffy brush and I'm just gonna gently blend it so it's not that harsh and so it's a bit more natural looking. So going back to the Stila palette, I'm gonna be using the shade Grace. It's a purple kind of color. It looks gray because there are some hints of gray in it, which is good because to accentuate hazel eyes, it's good that you use shades of purple, but also some kind of dark grayish looking colors. So I'm just going to put this on the outer crease of my eye and blend it all really gel, <laughs> really well. So now I'm taking this face palette from Forever 21 and taking this shimmery 
nice cocoa brown color and taking a blending a blending brush <laughs> I'm gonna focus that on the outside corner of my eye so this is gonna help darken and give that smoky look and it's also another color that's really good for accentuating hazel eyes and you're just gonna blend that away So going back to the Stila palette, I'm taking the same shade Grace and I'm just going to put that back on the crease and this is going to be our uh, transition color. So it's going to give it a softer look, it's going to look much more well blended and it's going to give a nice smoky look. So I'm taking that same color and taking a flat eyeliner brush and putting that on my bottom eye, 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 eyelid. eyelid. <laughs> And I'm just going to put that three quarters through all the way on the line. And now I'm using the same brown that we took from the Forever 21 palette and just putting that on the outer corner of my eye. And now moving on to the my eyeliner so I'm using a grayish color because that's not as harsh and like I said we're accentuating the hazel in our eyes so just follow the curve of your eye and make a slight cat eye nothing too drastic though so moving on to my favorite part I'm prepping my eyelashes by curling them and I'm going to be using this mascara that's specifically for hazel eyes Covergirl does this line and it's called Exact Eye Lights and this is what it looks like. So this one is black gold and it has gold shimmers so it reflects light to bring more light into your eyes and to make them all fit like pretty and it uh, brings out the color. Also because this is not really a length lengthening or volumizing mascara you could also put another mascara before this one and then top it off just to give the little black gold shimmers in it. And then I'm going to take it and on the outer corners of my eyelashes I'm just going to put some there too. So moving on to blush I'm using the NYX Mosaic powder and it's the shade Paradise. And I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush and then just putting that on my cheeks to give it some nice color and this is a really nice, I like this, it's a universal color, I believe, and it's a natural looking color. So now I'm going to take this Jordana blush, I forgot to show it to you but I'll mention it in the description. And it's a nice brown coral, so it's like a little bronze blush, and I'm just going to put that on the temples and of my face and on my cheeks. So now we're moving on to the highlighter like I was talking about and this is Benefit What's Up and I'm just taking this and just, you can't really see it but I'm putting it on my cheekbones and then I'm going to take my ring finger and just blend it out and I like this a lot because it gives a nice glow to your face. And so moving on to the lips, I'm taking this Hikari color, it's called Marowat. It's a lip gloss and I didn't film it but I put uh, a nude lip liner on my lip and I'm just going to put this on my bottom lip just to give it enough color. I don't want too much gloss and too much you know, color. So then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild in the color Cherry Bomb and I'm just going to put that on the inside of my lip to kind of make an ombre effect. And then the video cut off. <laughs> but this is a finished product, so I hope you guys enjoy this. You can add a bit more blush and contour a lot more if you'd like, but this is basically the overview of the finished product. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a gorgeous look. I love it, and thank you so much.